Hey, this is going to be a quick little video of doing a magwell on a Glock 19X. Um, so you have to cut the little tab at the very bottom of your magazine well. Um, this is a mag pull for a Glock 17 um, magwell, but you have to cut that little nub off. Uh, there is magwells out there that will go over that, but if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money and sending it in and, and getting it done. You could just cut the little tab off, get yourself a Magwell or Magpul Glock, uh, Glock 17 um, Magwell. And it should, there's some little bit of modifications, but it'll all fit in there nice and well. Um, <clears throat> you also do have to trim down just a little bit. Um, that way your, your magazine is not gonna get caught on anything. Uh, but it does work really well. It's sturdy. It doesn't move. It, it doesn't break. It doesn't get snag on anything. I do conceal carry this gun. So um, everything just works out pretty good. Um, so that's all I have for this part. I also like to know what I'm doing here is I have this back strap that I that I want to use um, so I basically have to cut the bottom of this back strap in order for it to fit um, as you can see I that magwell or yeah the magwell um, doesn't really allow for the other one to fit so you have to trim that part off uh, for whatever back strap if you're going to use one uh, I've seen other people just cut the whole Part of the back strap if you just want the dug the the beaver tail but yeah this is how you you kind of have to cut it apart and then um you know you trim it down to fit and then you put your magwell back on uh, but yeah that's kind of how um that's how i did it with this thing Part of this video was also um, doing a trigger installation, but uh, uh, from what I know, from what I heard, YouTube doesn't like how to sh videos of how things are put together. So, um, if you do want to know, uh, let me know, and I could send you the video of how to drop in a trigger like that. So this is a Zev compensator. Um, it works pretty good. Um, you really do need to use a um, plus P or something supersonic ammunition. Um, I noticed that um, after shooting it, um, I do get some failure to feeds. Um, but I think, and that just has to do with the uh, compensator. Um, but um, otherwise it, it looks pretty cool when you shoot it. So this next video is the, um, stippling job that I just did. Um, yeah, I used a, um, a trimmer tool and this, um, hot soldering iron to, just kind of re redo the the design and get a better grip on there. Um, it feels pretty good. It's not too scratchy yet. I haven't actually holstered it and see how it felt, but um, yeah, and here's some little cute little <laughs> pictures of it after I'm done. Thanks for watching.